welcome to our channel do to solutions the second video in the virtual machine series is about hyper v you may think where would you need such a solution imagine you need to install an application that is compatible with a linux based operating system but your computer or your laptop has a windows 10 professional operating system would you think of buying a new pc no this is where we highly recommend hyper v now let's install ubuntu a linux based operating system using hyper v on windows 10 pro just take a note of the prerequisites Let's start by enabling virtualization technology in BIOS. To enable the virtualization technology in the BIOS setup, just go to the start button. Now go to settings. Click on update and security. On the vertical ribbon you will find recovery. Just click on that. Now under the advanced startup, click on restart now. Now choose troubleshoot. Go to advanced options. Choose UEFI firmware settings. Click on restart. Now press F10 key to enter the BIOS setup. This is the BIOS setup. Now go to system configuration. Select virtualization technology. Press enter to enable it. Once it is enabled, press F10 key to save the changes and exit. Now let's configure Hyper-V in Windows features. Please enter your password to log in. Just type Hyper-V in your search bar. The moment you start to type you will find the hyper v manager option just click on that it's one more way to open the hyper v manager for that you just have to go to control panel now go to systems and security here just go to administrative tools there you are you will find the hyper v manager option now let's download ubuntu now we need to download the ubuntu iso file for that we need to go to ubuntu.com over here just click on download Under Ubuntu Desktop, the available version is 20.04 LTS. Just click on that. You'll notice that the Ubuntu ISO file has already started to download. While the download continues, we will go back to the Hyper-V Manager. In the Hyper-V Manager, just click on Connect to Server. Choose Local Computer. Click on OK. Now click on New Virtual Machine. Click on Next. You can rename the virtual machine. We are going to name it as Ubuntu Virtual Machine. You will find an option to store the virtual machine in a different location. However, we are going to choose the default C drive location. Now click on next. We recommend you to go with generation 2 virtual machine because it is more advanced as they use synthetic virtual devices, UEFI BIOS, GPT partitioning scheme and secure boot. However, it will support only 64 bit operating system 
whereas generation 1 will support 32 bit and 64 bit operating system now click on next the ram size mentioned here is 1 gb we are going to go with 2 gb now click on next in order to connect to the network just choose default switch click on next the hard disk size mentioned here is 127 GB we are going to select 200 GB since we have sufficient hard disk space now click on next you can either install the operating system at a later stage or pro probably do it right away we are going to install it right now now click on browse we go to downloads you will find the ISO file of the operating system right here just double click on that now click on next now click on finish select the Ubuntu virtual machine click on connect now click on start at times you will notice that you are stuck at this particular moment there's nothing to worry as such all that you need to do is go to action and just turn off next step will be to resolve this problem just go to file settings now go to security just uncheck enable secure boot apply the changes click on ok now you'll notice that the error is no longer there now the process has started you will see the progress over here select the preferred language and click on install Ubuntu now select the keyboard layout we are going with the English US option now click on continue continue since we are installing Ubuntu on a fresh virtual machine we need not take a backup however if you are installing it on an existing virtual machine make sure to take up backup of all the files if any now click on install now now select your location click on continue enter your name enter a preferred password pre-enter to confirm it now click on continue the installation is in progress this might take a few moments please wait for some more time the installation is now complete please restart the PC now now click on your username and enter your password click on next 
again click on next your Ubuntu virtual machine is now ready to be used thank you